Warning! The following program may contain adult or offensive language, excessive drinking, extra lives, heavy nostalgia, dragons, and general dipshittery. Listener discretion is advised. Holy shit! Where's Big Adam? I don't know, guys. What the hell? He walked away. You know what? I think this is MAGCast, the official podcast of MAGFest. Quick, let's finish the show before he gets back. Music and Gaming Festival, in case... I don't know why you'd be listening to this if you didn't know that. So yeah, it's true. <laughs> no, people who know someone took a Magnolia Fest were really <laughs> interested. It's true. Yeah. Albuquerque. All right. Well, we're. Uh, I'm Huey. <laughs> I do stuff. I'm funny. Oh, I guess I'm this big stupid son of a bitch ginger face <laughs> is uh, is Huey Hassan. Next to him is I'm the best at video games, especially better than Adam, and I make him <laughs> mad all the time. Uh, Red Rupee Orvi Thummel. And you sound like Andre the Giant after he's been taking <laughs> way too many hits. Oh, look, he's here. He just showed Woo! up. Big Adam himself. Sorry, I'm just going to edit this. <laughs> no, he won't. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, here, then yeah. you guys host. I'm good. Go ahead. All right. All right, and, uh, and then there's the worst person in the entire world, Mike TV. <laughs> And then over here, there's Ryan. I lugged all my stuff from Timonium because I'm a goddamn Saint Meyer. What's up, guys? How'd I do? Yeah. That, that was pretty good. solid. Pretty good. Yeah, I give it four out of five. <laughs> all right, thank you. And well, across from right. him, as always, Mr. Big Adam. <laughs> How about a peanut? He's a, he's, a, he's, a, <laughs> he's got my part. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Big Adam, how are you doing today? I'm okay. Uh, I just came in here with my big old <laughs> self. Came home. <laughs> Came from uh, my my dog, where uh, I'm like uh, obsessed with, and I'm drinking a beer. And uh, uh, what kind of Magfest news we got today, guys? Uh, well, we had Magquest <laughs> just this past weekend this on the West Coast, and it was pretty goddamn insane. Oh, that sounds like a whole lot of fun. Uh, of course, I was there. I got to see all my favorite bands and meet all my important celebrity friends. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of celebrities on the West Coast. Yeah. Right. We, we 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 can't we can't have we can't communicate with you because you're not on you're the not mic, Steph. I'm I sorry. You may as well you. not exist. If you'd I like mean, to take the guest mic, we're actually live right now from the Robotics Center in Baltimore, for I guess what is this event? It's uh, like Pond? a Magfest staff. What's, thingy. what's it stand for? Festival of Gaming. And you can we hear had the raucous crowds <laughs> around us. This room is packed. It is. Folks. It is completely is so, insane. If you we missed this event because you're listening to this and, and weren't here, you oh you missed out. We and are in the heart of Skynet as we speak. Oh my god, I'm having so much They're fun. They're coming here. for us. Me too. This is the best thing I've ever been to. Let's talk about how great it is in the background. Yay! Mike is just so on you're point. You're really today. on point, man. I'm, <laughs> this, I, did you do crack this morning or here. something? <laughs> All right. Mike's just got all of our, everybody. Like we, we can just go home. I'm not, I'm not drinking. So okay. like, I have all, all right, Mike, you're cut off. We need to talk okay. about actual mag quest. Adam, get on here because we need to talk about this. No, no, he's got it. <laughs> he wasn't there. He wasn't there, man. Are you sure? He sounded just like me. <laughs> <laughs> I but anyways, That's we were we went down to creepy. San Jose. We were in San Jose, California. It was a good time. Uh, let's see. I. What, what did you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get on the mic. mic. Get on the mic if you're gonna talk. Well, technically, we Swing were in around. the Magnolia Room we of the Santa oh Clara God. Hyatt, <laughs> located just north northwest of San Jose, California proper. Is that satisfactory, Steph? Yes. We have Steph Prater on the mic now. Oh. Magfest official accountant type person. I'm the yeah. I'm the bookkeeper. I'm guest she, relations. She cooks our books. I do a lot of. Sh- <laughs> When people are hungry, well, we'll just ask for some book cooking. In the Many office. hats. She does lots of things. She does lots of things. I take it off the other people's plates. That's what I do. Anyway, what I'm going to talk about is completely non-factual about MagQuest. So everything I say okay. is not going to be 100% accurate. I'm going to announce that now just okay. in case I say something like we were in San Jose, but we weren't. <laughs> we were in Santa Clara, which is approximately 14.7 degrees north-northwest. You missed it before she before she grabbed the mic. Steph was correcting Adam, it's and true. Adam is now overcorrecting. I'm overcorrecting to, to Over, adjust to that. That's what I do. It's fine. It was fun. We had a bunch of video games set up, and the Super Soul Bros yeah. played. And yeah, we met uh, a lot. Of, I was I was I was chip, honestly. So what we ended up doing is we we just announced it on the internet. We didn't like promote it at all. 
It was just like, hey, come by. We're going to plan some stuff. We're going to talk about potential Mag West. Yeah, there was a big meeting that Dom and then, held. Uh, with the yeah, there was a presentation. presentation. Stuff. I honestly expected that it was just going to be the Super Soul Bros and then like 10 of us listening to that. And that Participating was be in it. a very large West Coast circle jerk. Yeah. <laughs> so, but oddly <laughs> enough, we probably had about, all in all, 100 people come out. Uh, in the meeting, there was probably 50 in the audience, which was yeah, kind of surprising. There. There, were, there was a lot of local gaming community people came out. Yep. We had uh, Retro Gen. We had the Button Mashers and half a dozen others I can't remember off the yeah. top of my head. I've got my wallet's like thick full of business cards now, so... I got it's not the only thing that's thick full Hi-oh. of this guy. Oh. Just trying to squeeze a dick joke. Yeah, there we somehow. go. Our first dick joke of the podcast. I was having a hard time with it. Oh, so hey, we got we on? got someone someone poking Adam in the back now yeah. of of the hundreds of people that are here right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> someone walked up to Adam all, Chase. All of them know Adam. Well, well, I mean, enough. considering that's my cousin, yeah, I think he probably knows has an Everyone idea about who I am. Adam. Everybody, yeah. Super famous, let me tell you. But yeah, the Soul Christ. the Soul Brothers played like the Soul a Brothers played a two hours. Set. That was two hours. Yeah, it was two it hours was, on the was, money. Um, it, it was, was only awesome. two hours. And I'm sure by the time yeah. they finished, they were like, Man. "Oh, we're just getting warmed up." Pretty much. Yeah. You guys are insane. Yeah, they, they were. They were worried. They're like, "Should we just let us know how much time we have? We got a lot of stuff we can play, but sometimes we get cut off, so we want to yeah, get the good ones in." So long. Yeah, I think they ran through like how most many? of their material. They had like yeah. three closers because it just yeah. kept on Robbie's, going. Robbie's dad and someone else was there. His mentor. His mentor. Yeah. His dad's really good friend slash his mentor yeah it another was ridiculous jazz pianist mm. yeah it was really cool just seeing them there and his dad was just in the front in the front front row seats very just trolling stoically the whole time. Yeah, yeah no very yeah, stoically I? just staring at him like you know that i can do better than this right <laughs> <laughs> nice. no, he's did, uh, awesome he's really cool did, was it really woodwinds? No, no, uh, there were the sacks did you guys check oh that, my uh, god ligature they were playing it was definitely not Rovner. Well, it was not a Rovner. I can't support I had a conversation with there him because I am an aspiring Rovner salesman. Boom. And what he had said is Rovner's the worst product he's ever come he's across in his goddamn life. He's out of his goddamn mind. And that he was done with it. Their he sax was, player was a badass, though, and he was like 18. Yeah. Yeah, it was they're, all, they're, all in, they're all in college or such. They're all in school. I mean, some of them. Like, Robbie one guy had just got his master's. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's the one who's done. The he's, trombone he, player. He teaches. No, I thought it was the, the yeah. trumpet trumpet guy. Maybe it was. Yeah. Although their all trombone, jazz great. Although their trombone like. player pulled out some sweet, a some, sweet uh, some sweet rhymes. Oh right, yeah, that's they did right. That he that did the freestyle. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was pretty awesome. But no, that was uh, it was cool. It was cool to go out to Cal. I was only out there for three days, but it was awesome to go to California. I'm sorry, two point seven five days. I was out there, but it was good. It was really, yeah. Yeah. really good times. Well, even um, good lord. Oh, <laughs> man. So, the oh my gosh, the man of the hour here Who's comes, just Nick in. Marinara. He's here. Nick, Ethan O'Toole as Nick well. Nick Marinella, Marinara Coming, is Just here. fighting their ways through the front of the crowd the to crowd get up to is, the podcast right it's now. It's teeming. It's, it's, it's a mildly ridiculous large crowd here. I just I hope you guys can hear us from the overbearing volume from human voices. Yeah, there's probably some background Wild. noise here. So we have a guest mic if you guys want to want to trade around at any point. Also, we need to know what your favorite uh, video game robots are, but so we can tell you why you're wrong. We got we got some <laughs> shtick going on since we're at the robotics yeah. center. We'll come back around to this. Yeah, no yeah. Mega Man's. Uh, any robots from gaming? Also, let's 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 do a little bit of Magfest news. We should we should. We're working on that. Yeah. We're doing Magfest. Mag we should do Mag. Mag, Mag I mean, Mag Magquest was cool. I think we've so many we've people covered there. that. Right? So we, and we, we didn't Mr. cover how much I played Mr. Spy Wimmer Hunter. I played more you Spy played Hunter. More Spy Hunter than anyone. And then human someone beat should. my score like two hours towards the end of the night. Yeah. And yep. uh, I was tired. There was no. It was very depressing. Oh well. It still eats you up inside, doesn't it? Oh man, I don't even know. Wow. He picked. I don't know. Who picks? Who is that? We'll see. We'll see. All right, we'll find out. Is that yeah. Okay, good. Anyways, no. Fu- all right, next. Quest is done. Quest was cool. Next is Magstock. Oh, Magstock. We've been talking about that plenty. Yeah, go buy tickets. After that, we just announced oh, I'm excited. I'm the excited. real I'm dates I'm for Magfest. For the one thing the rest of us can talk about, they breeze right over. This is going mm-hmm. so well, February. clearly. Are we, are we talking about Mag Classic? I'm I have controlled. no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> all about Mag Classic. We're not calling it point five anything. No more numbers for Magfest very at all. Very confusing, yes. It's very confusing. Magfest, anything. That's getting rid of the I mean, numbers on sense. Prime was it dumb. Fa- it made sense. For Nick Marinelli line. is saying no, no more said. numbers for Magfest ever again. If you use numbers, he'll find you. It's just Where's like calling it a con. Numbers? It's the same Johnny level numbers? of. Of of of. Yeah, I here. can't think of. Yeah, <laughs> do sure. numbers count as numbers? Sure. No, no. Okay. So Outstanding. Right. Yeah, we just can't call it MAGFest anything because okay, then people cool. think that they missed it. Numbers. So, because so, 
because people are like, sure oh, we just had 8.5, and, like, and people are like, iPad. oh, I missed it, and we're like, no, no, okay, it's in no, January, you didn't miss anything, it's all good. This is a, the that typical train wreck of a live episode. We've got people talking. There's about 17 <laughs> conversations. Wait, you think there's Everyone's talking about their own stuff. And I, I know it. that Ryan's playing music of some variety over top of this whole oh, thing because he, he gave headphones no, 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 to no, Huey can, and there was you, laughter. You, you can hear, hear the, the crowd. crowd all around us. It's oh. crazy. Oh, really? <laughs> did you, did you <laughs> nice funnel job. in crowd nice. work? You got a laugh track. <laughs> oh, my God. So like, yeah, like a laugh track. Excellent. He funneled nice. in crowd noise because we're there sitting in an empty room. No, <laughs> That's no, what amazing. Are you it's about? not entirely empty room. You can hear television. the people all around us. They're screaming. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> in exactly 12 minutes, they're all going to disperse, evidently. <laughs> 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 so we better make this a quick show. Yeah, make sure they, we get Christ. all a good All right, time. so let's all stay on the same page here. Meg Classic, what's the dates? Uh, it's September 11th. So You're a paid employee. Get your shit together. Well, I shit. Want to say September 11th <laughs> weekend. It's at the Hilton like, Mark Center. I don't know if I should call it September 11th weekend. It's a September 11th Is it weekend. A whole weekend now? What? Did something else happen on that day? I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> September 11th or 13th. Mag Classic. Officially. And then after that, we're capping at 2000. We do MagFest, hey, which is a cool thing a in February this year. February 18th. 18th through 21st. Yeah, we're talking about yeah. MagFest and Mag Classic. There's so much stuff happening before then. I mean, there's oh an Artscape God. thing. I guess there's BitGen's Artscapes, probably going to happen. Uh, July 17th to the 19th. What are we doing there? We are doing. So much. We are doing. Are we, can we announce No. Can we tell no. no. So we're. No. We are doing, doing stuff that we're we doing carnival about. type things. We have a a four story uh, a billboard, a, 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 a like vi- video billboard that we're going to be doing stuff billboard. on. We might be getting a particular band to go on it. We might yeah. be getting a particular art fight around there to get on it. Particular it should be a fight. super good time. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> get it because oh. of dicks. There it is. <laughs> Wait, I don't. I don't think that's right. We're over the dick one? quota. Dial it back. <laughs> <laughs> We're only allowed three or four dick jokes per episode. That's clearly that's not, not true. <laughs> and then there's gonna I'm not be saying there's we're not always over a quota, but one time we should try to stay within budget. But it's still it's still gamescape in artscape that we're doing. So there's still going to be the whole indie arcade area, and uh, we'll do we'll have code in schools come out, and we might do, we might do some table flipping outside. Yeah, no, maybe. not if, no. if the other plans come to fruition. No, it not depends. even fucking we, we're close. Gonna, if the, if the other plans come stuff, to fruition. Yeah. Yeah. There's a Artscape is a big deal. We do stuff. Artscape's going to be fun. That's what you're good at. So so, so good this at. month we have this right now. The king of positive Mag promotion. Next month is Magstock. <laughs> July is Artscape. August is... July also has... Well, When did Press Start get pushed back to? And then September. September is Mag Classic. October, we don't know yet. We got one of these. We got one of these every two weeks. We don't need to October hit everything. October will be in uh, Monster November. Party, right? Oh my November gosh! What? Yet. October will be Monster Party, right? Yeah. yeah. We'll probably do yeah. Monster Party again. Well, no, uh, I'm the trying to get something during Super Week. That'd be cool. If I could get something during Super Week. And also, we have the new event coming up, uh, Press Start, which Press is happening Star. on the fourth Thursday of oh, every month at right. the Crown uh, here in Baltimore. Yep. Uh, Night of Video Game Tournaments. It got. Uh, Last one got canceled due to curfew, uh, but so this will be the first time we're going to be doing this, and we'll be having a tournament for uh, um, Mario Double Kart Dash, Double Dash. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be awesome. There's going to be prizes oh, yeah, for the, uh, first and Double second. It's, uh, May 26th, I believe. May and then 28th. 26, the fourth and then Thursday. after that, we've got the Pokemon Symphony, which also got pushed back. Evolutions. Uh, I remember yeah. that. Pokemon's right. Evolutions. Symphonic Evolutions. It's symphonic. Rotate. Sorry, May 28th like is uh, press start. All right. Music. Cool. My bad. Great. Oh, and it's going to be a smashingly delightful, wonderful time. Ah. ah. Smashing. There's young people is in that, the room is that, now. Is that enough? There's young, young people like, in young the room. Like. We have to be good now. So, um, Holy banana sniffing wall paint. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> what are you? And this there is, is what Matt Castigrades into when we can't swear. Yes. Yeah. We use the swears to think of things to say that mean. <laughs> I didn't think about not guys. swearing. I think it's that's part of the thing. Fest news. That yeah, covered just yeah. about part everything that gets my brain churned. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. What else we got next? What do we want to do now? I'd, I'd, I'd like to get to the Fallout thing because I wove Yeah, I'd like to get into the Fallout thing, too, because I had some fun with Mike this week. Well, I mean, Adam, Mike, why don't you two open it up? So I well, do you, do you want to go first? I or mean, so your I? dick seems to be itching to go. It so really go is. ahead. Uh, hey, <laughs> yeah, we just wait. I'm right. sorry. Your private area seems to be t- ticklish to the continue upon the conversation of Thor. 
So uh, I'm doing Ryan. Uh, his Freezing. character's name is uh, Ramirez Caracol. I like it. Caracol is a, a small jungle cat. <laughs> um, like he, he specializes in science, speech, and explosives. He is a, uh, a wannabe revolutionary, but he's really bad at it. Um, I, I uh, emphasize right. perception and I think a g an intelligence for you. Wait, no. Is intelligence and agility? A oh, well, we went over most of this last <laughs> yeah, episode. I, didn't I, I, we? If you want to, anyway. yeah, if you want to catch up on the Fallout stories thus far, yeah. Well, I, I didn't, last time I hadn't on played. That. He hadn't played last time. I hadn't played. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. waiting for a new computer so, and a trackball mouse. Uh, but to you have low strength, so uh, full. I ended up uh, in the first encounter, uh, basically blowing you up a number of times because you were <laughs> chucking dynamite at people. Okay. Um, but because of your low strength, you basically chuck the dynamite right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, it's just like, eh, and then, you know, it blows up. And it blows the other guy up, but then it blows you up. So basically, I adopted a strategy of tossing and running backwards, uh, which worked for a while. And um, I, I ended up buffing your strength a little bit because it was getting really old, blowing myself up constantly. Uh, so you liberated the good people of Good Springs while injuring yourself grievously and then okay. you went back to the doctor got patched up i just can't i can't even believe i can't wait to tell you what mike did uh, okay. <laughs> and, then, uh, and you you got through uh you got through prim and that that worked out pretty well i you had to switch to a gun for a little bit because uh uh you ran out of dynamite because i used it all the time <laughs> so so you little, carry so much little so sniper little joe action there it's like okay we can get some gun action all right and then uh you got to nipton and that's where things took a turn. Um, oh dear. So Nipton is a town that's been destroyed by the Legion. And when you get there, a bunch of Everyone Legion must guys, have a good story from that town. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of Legion guys come out of town hall, and they're just like, these people were awful. We've killed them all. If you, uh, <laughs> it, you know, you want to stop, let's go ahead and try. And it's just like, all right, well, I've got the hot-blooded perk anyway. Oh, that's right. I gave you the – I think it was hot-blooded or something like that. And it would actually – Check it and see. I think it uh, – I think it actually reduces your throw distance for explosives. So that, combined with your low strength, was really screwing <laughs> you. All right. So. Oh, my God. Um, they, uh, oh, you, you can throw things faster, but you throw things uh, at less range. So it's just you're There's tossing. More dynamite right, <laughs> right in my feet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Okay. laughs> so I'm just like. Sounds safe. It's just like, okay. Uh, no, it's not hubble. It's loose cannon. Okay. Loose cannon. Oh, you're loose, loose cannon. cannon. Speaking of loose yeah. cannon. That's what my beer's called. So uh, it's just like, you know what? I think Ramirez Caracol would try to kill these guys. I'm just like, and I'm thinking, you know what? It's never going to work. I'll get maybe two of them, and then they'll all murder the crap out of me, and I'll reload. Uh, one grenade managed to take out the entire raiding party. I'm nice. just like, oh, well, that happened. But then that means the Legion is hunting you forever. and so Because you instantly got like bad rep with them to the max. Yes. Yeah. So, like, I went back to uh, the Mojave Outpost and sold their stuff off, and then I continued on. And then, like, during a, in a, in a pass where you uh, hit some raiders, I started hearing shooting, and I'm just like, I wonder what that is. It was the Legion guys hitting the raiders. I'm just like, all right, I want to help the le these raiders take out the Legion, then I'll take out the raiders. Legion guys mopped the floor with the raiders and then started shooting you. Okay. <laughs> and there's like four or five of them, and they're actually very well armed at this point, and not in a nice little cluster that you can blow up. So I ran into the hills, and I was going to head there anyway because there's like sunglasses at the bombing test site, and I was like, I need good sunglasses. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> of course, the shooting attracted all the ghouls at the oh test site, God. and these are like super strong ghouls. So I was running from the, the Legion and the ghouls, Trying not to die. This took me actually a lot of times not to die. Uh, I ended up getting on top of the Legion safe house nearby while the ghouls attacked the Legion and killed them because, again, super strong ghouls. And then the ghouls all started coming to the safe house. It was basically a zombie apocalypse scenario where all these undead guys are down below like, Arr! and so... I took out some of them, but then they started going around the edge of the map and getting on top of the house. I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck! And I'm, I have, like, two broken legs at this point. <laughs> broken <laughs> arm. You had a concussion, I think, so you're constantly, like, <laughs> the, the like world's, pacing, like, going yeah. fuzzy. 
So then I ran into a herd of uh, bighorns or whatever they big are. Horners, yeah, yeah, yeah. bighorners. They managed to kill <laughs> the ghouls <laughs> and then started chasing after me. You are literally then, leaving a trail of destruction. <laughs> this yeah. is, and then, so I managed to lose them when I went back into Nipton. And I'm like, oh, God, what am I going to do? And I'm just wandering around. It's like, oh, hey, there's the, the trigger for um, uh, Old World Blues, the uh, one of the DLC. It's like, you should... You should be at least level 15 before doing this. And I'm like, I'm level 8. I'm just like, I know how to get through Old World Blues. It'll be fine. And my character's probably dumb enough to be like, oh, look at the big shiny object. Boop. And then, you right. know, you get, you know, zapped away. What are you trying to say about Ryan? Um, I thought you made him smart. I, I, he's, he's, I do like shiny things. He's though. clever. <laughs> he's clever, but he's uh, he doesn't have very good judgment. No street smarts. No, no good common sense. Yeah. All right. So that was really hard, getting all the way through Old World Blues, because I had, like, a pistol and some dynamite. And did you <laughs> actually do all of Old World Blues? I did old, all of Old World Blues. That's I died so a lot. far ahead. I died so much. It was a really bad idea. But I was like, you know what? I'm here. <laughs> and then Jeez. we beat Old World Blues. We got back. And you're super powerful now. And then you just started killing Legion parties left and right because you're like, fuckos. <laughs> see what you see what you think you could do to me now. Oh man! Okay. You wiped out um, uh, Cotton Cove, I think. So Old World oh, Blues oh, was Cotton. like his whole coming into his yeah. real revolution. Like he, yeah. he wanted to be a revolutionary before. You and actually you learned Blues. to work with robots too, because okay. that was the only way you were going to survive. You learned you learned uh, you know how to talk to people and not shoot first because you're going into the the pacification uh, field where you actually have to. Like, so he actually is Doctor Light now. Yeah. He's <laughs> nice. You're, you're, you're doing much better. You're much stronger. Uh, you've got, like, you're very, you're very good with explosives now. You're, you actually have a lot more strength. I so out how to not throw them at my feet. Exactly. Okay, cool. I gave you the heave ho perk so that, you know, you actually get them a decent way away from you. So you're doing good. Nice. So you, you've come into your own as sort of this freedom fighter type now. So Excellent. Yeah. Glad to hear it. <laughs> you did. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's where Ryan's at. Let's see. That let's see where. Uh, let's <laughs> let's see what Mike's been doing in the world of Fallout. So Mike's story is completely different. <laughs> <laughs> and now for something completely different. Mike and I had a conversation on the show about ten episodes ago, <laughs> where he said, and uh, I can't quote it, but I'd really love to be able to something along the lines of. If you're not a doctor or an engineer or someone with a quote unquote real job, you're worthless to humanity. Did I say that yeah, sounds like something? Yeah, sounds yeah, like yeah. something yeah. you'd say. I believe yeah. you did say that. So That's I went to Prim. Reselling. Probably. Yeah. I helped out the town to give everyone false hope, and then everyone but the doctor died. <laughs> I killed <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Easy Pete. Sorry, buddy. You're fucking dead now. <laughs> Judy, nope, you're just a lowly shopkeep. You're dead now. This is the apocalyptic world, and I can steal anything Jesus. that I want. No, you can take all the free booze you want. Now it's free. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone died. Your playthrough is really dark, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went on down to Nipton. Uh, what happened in Nipton? Decided that I was going to, quote unquote, team up with the Legion as well. And I knew once, that was coming. Once. Yeah. All of the other guys were killed, and everyone was safe. All the Legion died, too, there because they're worthless. None of them were doctors or that's scientists That's fine. or anybody with a meaningful job. That's good. I'm oh trying dear. to create a last man on Earth type scenario here okay. with the only living person thus far in the entire game is the doctor back in Prim by himself. You left him to die. I mean, he's a, he's a <laughs> good dude. I'm talking dude. civilians, the guys that are, like, raking – and shit, they're all dead. Farmers are useful. <laughs> Energy weapons to the head, they're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I, I got to Novak, and then I stopped there. I haven't killed a single animal. Oh. <laughs> that's <laughs> amazing. That's great. That, uh, that's, uh, I have it, run it away good. from coyotes. It was like, yeah, it was just that, right. and now it's yeah. perfect. I have run away shit. from every coyote that has come, because there's, there's a chase <laughs> difference. Yeah. They're distance. They'll oh stop chasing after a while. My that's goodness. amazing. So yeah, he's like the killed. only place left will be Helios One, because that's there's a bunch of scientists there. Then uh, yeah, but the one's like a, I'll make like the decisions finger. on who's a yeah. real oh, yeah. scientist no, and who's him. not. Is that is that the yeah. uh, is that the power plant? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. I've yeah. never been that far. You into check the that game. out, Huey. 
as well. Yeah. But yeah, I've uh, I'll make the decision on who's a real qualifying That's scientist fine. or not. That's okay, I, I'm behind this. This sounds interesting. <laughs> They're all dead. All Energy right. weapons and science and repair. Repair is a good skill. It's, it's treated you well. Yeah. yeah. When your guns get real damage from overuse from killing everyone. And see, you need you need <laughs> merchants to repair your stuff otherwise, and I'm killing them all. So. No, you're buying all of their things and then killing them. Oh, okay. So you're still using the merchants because I know that you would appreciate the yard selling aspect of shopping through their wares. I would. But this then so they're well useless out. and they <laughs> oh die. Oh, my God. Yep. Can you get your money back when you kill them? No. No, oh, that sucks. How unfortunate. I mean, you do pick up stuff off of their body, which you can in turn sell to the next victim. <laughs> That's really dark. <laughs> well, 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 to complete the circle, let's have Ryan pitch in. Yeah. Uh, sure. So Adam's story thus far has been pretty uneventful. He got done at the doctor setting everything up, and he's like, man, this training is exhausting. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> and I have not been able to wake him since. <laughs> That is the best way to say, oh, fuck, guys, I forgot to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a letdown. I was hoping we were going to have some good Adam stories. Don't worry. It's <laughs> you <coming>. just did. <laughs> <laughs> Huey, I don't know. what have I been up to? I mean, obviously, you, you, the whole point of my playthrough with you is to make you as OP as possible. I've never straight tried to make a character 100% and everything. Okay. So it's, it's taking a lot of time. But you're very thorough. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> you that's go good. Everywhere, and you kill everything. Now, like Mike, or do I do I spare? No, the you innocence? spare. You're, you're 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 a good guy. Okay. So you just kill anything that is. I gave you the uh, what is it? The purifier perk, where basically anything that's a mutant, you just like you hate it more and you kill it faster. Oh man. So, um, everything was pretty much going normal. You killed you. You back the people at uh, what's the town where Eddie is? The, uh, the casino town with Vicky and Vance. It's Prim is, is that Prim? Yeah, Prim. Yeah, the yeah. first. Yeah, you, you crushed everything at Prim. Absolutely, right. it was not even a joke. They they tried. You f you freed um, the officer Beagle. He was a dick, and then you killed him. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that's what Mike did. Mike yeah. was like, "Oh, you're free. Your life is good now." He <laughs> kept insulting you, and I don't feel like you'd put up with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and he was all like very sarcastic. He's like, "Oh, thanks for saving me. So you just done you, you took him so out." Sounds like thing. one of the golf kids from him. South Park. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so then you great. got to um, uh, to Nipton, where the Legion had killed everyone. Oh, yeah, and that was a rough time for you. Yeah, you, you came in, and everybody was like, a guy came up and was like, I won the lottery. And you're like, what's the lottery? And you go in, you find a man with broken legs. And he's like, man, will you help me die? And you're like, what is happening? So you go in, oh, no. and you see these men armored in very strange garb. Everything's burning, and there's people on crosses, and you snap. Oh, no. So every piece of explo explosives that you'd picked up, just you threw You didn't even talk to them. <laughs> you just started throwing things. Oh, now, see, I had a moment that I figured would be the turning point, and that's where you talk. The guy approaches you and then s challenges you. He says, if you've got a problem with it, then if you're strong enough, stop us. He, ne he never even got that far. Never even got that <laughs> Never even walked up to you. Somebody was walking. You saw him coming up to you. You saw everything burning, people on fire, and people dying. And you just threw every piece of explosives you had, and every character in front of you died. <laughs> <laughs> it was not even, they didn't, they just, like, there's little pieces. I had to loot chunks. <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. I was actually, and then you went inside, and you saw all their dogs feasting on, it was like a, sort of like a, a Rorschach moment. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you go in, and then you kill all the dogs, and, uh, and then you went upstairs, and, and you looted the hell out of the place, and you, you, ba you I, I actually, you tried to set fire to a lot of things. It didn't work. <laughs> um, so I left to burn. Left the, that they had. Yeah. Then you you left and you never turned back. You didn't want to see that again. It's a dark part of you. Maybe maybe we'll see it again. <laughs> but um, yeah. Hopefully I left that behind. And it didn't matter, dude. You were blowing the people up on crosses. They were still alive, and you were blowing them clean off of their cross. And it was it was it was a horrible <laughs> moment. Oh dear. Uh, and then you made it to to uh, to Novak, Novak. Yeah. and that's where I, I was like. That's where you call it. It's getting dark. I need to take a break. All right. Well, I, you, you, I, I said last week had already gotten to Novak. Yes. Uh, so I just started doing some side questy stuff all around Novak. Uh, I didn't really progress any further than that. Uh, who was, you, you, you became, you befriended the man in the Dino Tower. Uh, oh, good, good. What was, what was he's got all the toys? What's his name? You mean the guy at the top, the sniper? I forget. Yeah. Moon. 
Yeah. Oh, got all the, yeah. The, and the his, his, his wife, right? his wife no, got no, stolen or killed. Yes, she uh, got sold into slavery. Right. And yeah, and you and the you were like, that's that's terrible, man. How can I help? Yeah, yeah. And he was like, just ask around, like, see if you can find something out. And you and and it, you know, if anyone's suspicious, like, bring him at, bring him out to the ridge. I'll talk to him. We'll figure out what's going on. That's not what he. So, <laughs> you're you're like you're like all right, sure, I'll I'll help this guy out. Like 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 his wife, like, and you also you also help him out with his buddy who he was suspicious of. Oh, so yeah. you work you work that out. You just want people to get along, really. So <laughs> you were doing that, and you know you figure you, you do a little snooping around, and you find out the woman at the front desk is is kind of suspicious. So you're like, all right, I don't know about her. This this guy seems all right. We'll we'll, we'll take her outside and have a talk. And you go up to the hill, and holy shit, he just blew her head off. <laughs> <laughs> what what was that about? Huey, you're an asshole, man. <laughs> Look, I, Huey, I was Huey was distraught. <laughs> he was distraught. He hasn't been back to Novak. He feels so <laughs> terrible about that. <laughs> he didn't. He thought they were gonna talk it out and figure out what happened to his wife, and then her head just popped off of her body. <laughs> And God. you've Dude, been you're like Lenny with I'm, the rabbits. I was just, I, I was, I'm one of the characters in Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm and mice and men. You're definitely. <laughs> no, I didn't just, kill him. Yeah, no, he, no. You didn't was, squeeze his head off. No, no, no. Like Huey just thought the the guy was gonna figure out what happened to his wife, but th- apparently he had already decided he knew what went down. Mm. And once you take him to the hill, he he takes him out. Gotcha. So, uh, luck- luckily, you already had bought yourself a, uh, a dinosaur toy from the shop. Thank God. <laughs> and you, you are carrying one of those along with your favorite toy truck. Good. Uh, I didn't give. I g- remember if you, you remember. Gave the one away. I gave the truck yes. to the guys who helped me. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of those folks, you you venture out to the to the solar power plant, and uh, your buddies of the of the NCR are hanging out there trying to figure stuff out. And again, you know, you're you're not looking for a fight, but you'll help some people in need, especially if they. You know, some people you like. Uh, so you go into the power plant and you find you find the idiot there, and you're like, "Hey, I'm no rocket scientist, but I think I'm smarter than this mook." <laughs> and, uh, there wasn't a conversation, there wasn't a dialogue option for that, but that's wh- how you said it in my head. Yeah, I got you. So, uh, so you got that online eventually. It took you a while, but uh, it happened. You may have temporarily blinded yourself because you s- hung out on the tower after you realigned the dish for a little bit. Mm. That'll happen. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you kind of just stared into the. It, you weren't. Ex- you, you just wanted to see what was going to happen. I get it. Yeah. So after after a night's rest and you know getting getting over the blindness. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what have you? You mentioned you mentioned Nipton. I went to Nipton. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Because yeah, I didn't talk about that last time because we weren't supposed to go that far. Nipton, you just you just got the heck out of there. <laughs> that was that was too much for you to handle. Uh, this was this was actually before the NCR saved you from the swarming coyotes because you uh, after they do that they get in a little scuffle with the with the legion which you again wanted no part of, but yeah Nipton happened and you you roamed around you talked to some people, and you were just eyes wide terrified that uh, that was where you found your hat though I don't remember <laughs> exactly where I don't th- I, you wouldn't have pulled it off a corpse I don't think that's dark yeah I think you found it in a chest somewhere someone's footlocker or something and but it wasn't a red one. It's not a red hat because he could no. I mean the uh, the chest wasn't red. He was allowed oh, to no, take no, it. Oh no no no. He's he's not a thief. Right exactly. Is, That's what I'm saying. Certainly not a thief. But if there's stuff around, he is a scavenger. He's a professional scavenger and survivalist. Like Huey Huey knows about the post apocalypse. I've been I've been places. Yeah. So that's that's pretty much how I've been. Like he's a survivalist. He's not looking for trouble. Right. Has Huey but died at all? Huey has certainly died. Okay. Uh, Actually, Mike Mike hasn't died yet. Huey's, char- uh, Huey's character is the exact opposite of any sort of like optimization because he's like <laughs> he's like a melee guy. He has no endurance or or agility. Like it's very difficult for him gameplay wise to really accomplish much. Right. Because he can't sneak. Uh, he is super strong. So his melee hits. I think I took heavy handed as well. So you don't crit, but you just hit like a truck. <laughs> <laughs> so Huey and his trusty tire iron will defend themselves. I'm just from saying. It sounds like you might have given him a little uh, a little retard strength. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually quite smart, but he's not science smart. He's survival smart. He's borderline he's chimpanzee, wide-eyed orangutan, child. in all the ways that I'm not. No, he's yeah, sure, exactly, yes, very yeah. much, very much. I we think are intelligence so. opposite. So like like in Prim, the way you, the way you actually survive that encounter is if you know when you walk in over the northern bridge that has the mines and oh then yes. there's there's the old house there with the stairs. Yeah. 
people started shooting at you, and just you just ran up there and forced them to come to you, and, and then you just tire ironed them. Tire That's what Mike did, but he shot them instead with energy <laughs> weapons and exploded their bodies. Uh, I, you also stumbled onto some sort of refinery that was full of geckos. Oh, yeah, that place. I don't know how that I, – I got pretty far into that place before I realized I was surrounded by geckos. Yeah. So he threw down a couple mines and backed up onto the catwalks, and same deal. Just let them come at you one at a time. Bam! Bam! I, uh, I awesome. will Had say I am eventually going to build up Ryan's survival skill uh, because that way you can make yourself a badass, like, leather uh, leather jacket. Nice. And I'm just like, yeah, he'd want to do that. That's about right. But, but cool. yeah, Huey's, Huey's sporting some nice you, – you, you found some decent glasses, too, that you've been fixing up. Nice. I wish all five of us could meet in the wasteland, do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be cool. that would be too goddamn funny. I probably, I probably three, three dog would probably have us on. <laughs> three dog. Ow. But yeah, I think I think that's that's about where we're at. Uh, you're, 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 What's the next you've ventured, checkpoint? You've ventured to over to the launch area where the ghouls and such are. Ooh. So that'll be your next next adventure. Okay. What's the next checkpoint? Here? The next checkpoint will be. What do you think? Uh, what's the area outside of Vegas? Well, I was gonna say maybe getting to the the, the Vegas gate. The lucky or the uh, the. You, you want to get into Vegas. Yeah. Okay, into Vegas. Yeah, I think to that's the fair. gate or to in inside to Vegas. Vegas. Cuz I've right. never done that before because I've never had 4800,000 well, caps that when you have you to kill have. Well, everything. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how that goes. Sometimes you Next don't have time. time to loot bodies when you're killing everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you kill everything and then loot the bodies. Well, got, uh, some it's of the bodies were too close to, to animals like. and I had to oh, bail. Oh yeah. Oh, just man. just pick up animal friend. They'll uh What about what's his, what's Mike's stance on robots? I haven't encountered a robot other than the one in Prim. Yeah. yeah. And I just avoided it altogether. I didn't interact with it or anything. I like robots. Okay, so that means he's going to blow the robots up. Okay. <laughs> are, are they doctor robots, engineer robots, or science so that's robots? That's the thing. This is just the <laughs> this is just the helper. Like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As far as, worthless. As, far, as, far, yeah, as far as that power plant went, robots are tools that I can you use. You smashed up some kill robots, man. <laughs> Like you don't like beating up beating up people or living things as much, but like you had a blast just <laughs> ripping <laughs> apart robots with robots. that tire iron. That's awesome. And actually, to get past, I don't know if this was intentional, but to get past that first sentry turret to get across to disable it, you picked up a barrel and you shimmied along with the barrel in front of you. That's awesome. Yeah, that, you can do that. I did not know you could do that in yeah. this game. That's incredible. Because you didn't really your, your firearm is not is not proficient. Oh no! No no no! <laughs> no no no! <laughs> So. Well, now, speaking of robots. Uh-oh. Oh, man. We oh, are at the robotics yeah. center. We are Here at the Baltimore go. Robotics Center. So we created a... MAGFest uh, HQ's new home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is true. This, this is where the this is the new office, office space. will be. Yeah. yeah. Hot diggity daffodil. Not this space, but there's offices down the hallway. So we decided to do... There's a little, too many, a little this, game. The, with the hundreds of people in here, there's way too much it's space for a MAGFest off. Yeah, right. We, we decided to do a little game, and this was uh, name your favorite robot from a video game series or video game, but it can't be from Mega Man because that's ju that's a trump card. Like, yeah, it's too easy. Everyone's just going to be like, Mega Man can be a robot, and he can uh, take the powers of all the other robots. He wins all the robots. I like I like Elec Man the best, but uh, Nitro Man's pretty cool, and... And, and Mega Ran and has a song about Splash what Woman about that I like. Yeah. Like metal with and, you can, and you can't do any of the Robot Masters because then someone's just going to counter with the Robot Master that you're weak against. Exactly. So it's just it's just an endless cycle of bullshittery. And we we'll, we'll, we'll get into it in a little while because we're all going to pick our favorite Robot Master later. All right, but sure. Let's let's do the initial list. All right, so, so we actually had a few people that aren't on the show step up too. We did a poll. We selected like four audience members at random from the throngs of people that are Just, here. There's so many people here. Two of them happen Just to be hundreds and hundreds. My groupies too. So if well, I, actually, it works out very quick, well. Real quick tangent before we get into that. Speaking of the crowds, um, uh, I let that YouTube video go, and apparently it just started playing other videos. So we ended up on fast, precise cutting skills using one of the world's sharpest knife how to make sushi series, <laughs> <laughs> just from letting it run. So uh, <laughs> if, if, you've been, if you've been hearing really weird stuff in the background that Adam didn't edit out, uh, I am not why. going to edit that out because <laughs> that sounds all too perfect, especially so the beginning I, I think of the I show. Paused it like halfway fuck. through a cutting lesson, but anyway, go on. Alrighty, well, uh, let's see. Is is marinara around or? I mean, I'm sure he's somewhere. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go find him. Meanwhile, we can have our two other participants hop on and talk about their favorite robots. Okay. All right. So, Adam, would you like to introduce so right, far? Give me who the we've list. Got? Give me the list. We have a list. It happens to be on a robot. All right. So we're gonna start with Annie. 
Yay! Self <laughs> self proclaimed mag magcast number one fan. That's true. That happened. So uh, you decided to go with Legion. Yes, from the Mass Effect series, from S Mass Effect Three specifically. State your case. State my case. Well, he's a badass. He's the best. Ro okay, he's the best. So first of all, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't just wipe your hands with that and walk. Just because he's cooler, and then you're done. That, that doesn't count. That's, that's, I think it counts. No. <laughs> all right. So, so Legion. Um, the way the way that you. I don't know if ever, everyone's played Mass Effect Three. Has everyone played Mass Effect Three? Yes. Yes. Okay. No, because it's a 17-hour movie. It's, it's not my it's, it's like 24 hours. I'd yeah, like to, to play through <laughs> just the quest. No I think. Um, yeah. So, so Mass Effect Three. Um, the basic premise for Legion is he is a Geth, and Geth are a hive mind robot species um, that kind of run around and, and make stuff hard. In the first game, they're one of your major enemies. Um, in the second game, they're uh, whatever. But in the third game, um, you learn that there are different sects of the sect S E C T S sects of the um, <laughs> robots <laughs> and <laughs> half of them this is a mess. and some of them are um, and some of them don't agree with the other geth that you've been fighting like so the, the evil geth are actually like a minority um, who believe that there's like you know the bad guys are gods and then um, legion is a representative of the other geth who do not believe that everyone else um, that the bad guys are gods uh, everyone's leaving I feel I feel sad I mean <laughs> But why is Legion cool? Legion's you're, you've cool you've gotten because into he's a lot of Mass Effect backstory of a thirty-seven fucking hour movie. <laughs> but why is Legion the coolest? Legion, Legion's of the all the robots in the video game world, you pick Legion. Yeah, he well, wow. he has he has a personality, and he's also his own robot. Like most most of the Geth are part of the hive mind, but Legion is actually separate. Um, he lets himself become separated from the rest of the Geth, and he is like he has a personality, and he's almost a person and i i just think he's super awesome and like obviously he's you know whenever whenever you go on a mission in mass effect they're like you know you can have a team and it's really like you know someone who has to, someone has to be good at tech stuff and someone has to be good at shooting stuff and that kind of thing and you're like well i always obviously want legion because he's a robot so obviously he's good at everything tech and he's a fighting robot so he's good at everything fighting so he's really he's just the perfect robot. character <laughs> he really is anyway legion guy <laughs> <laughs> He also uh, brings up a lot of moral questions whenever you talk to him. He's just like, what am I? What is the world? Why are we all here? And I think that was really cool, too. That was, okay. that was a fun part of the all story. All right, Huey. So, yeah, let's, let's go with rebuttals. Um, I've got a character who will answer all your questions about life. And no. the answer is America. No. <laughs> Let go with rebuttals to her decision. I am. Well, no. Not he's he's got he's to call, call his robot and yeah, challenge Yeah, I've got a challenge. Robot. Oh, we're going to get in a fight? Yeah. Awesome. A robo fight. Sweet. Uh, and the answer is Liberty Prime from Fallout 3. Uh, oh Liberty my. Prime is a massive robot made by the USA <laughs> government <laughs> to crush the communist wave that is threatening to flow over our good civilization. <laughs> Liberty Prime was pretty badass. Our amber waves Better are dead green than are red. I'm going to read you some quotes. <laughs> Liberty Prime says, oh, just so we, fine. democracy <laughs> is non negotiable. <laughs> Communists detected on American soil. <laughs> Lethal force engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom is a sovereign right of every American. That's all I got to say. I feel. <laughs> well, listen, listen, Legion is all about freedom. He broke out from the hive mind. Uh, he might be all about freedom. But he's not like eighty feet tall. <laughs> he's also not about America. The fact of the matter he is, he probably that doesn't even know what America. Yeah, I don't That's think true. he's ever. <laughs> we'll compare <laughs> Legion in power to, let's say, a fully like there's there are characters in Fallout that you know might be similar to Legion's power, like um. Is Liberty is Liberty Prime remotely controlled at all, or is it completely its own thing? They activate him, and he just goes yeah, off. It's, and it's basically, they, they have to identify. Okay. They changed what he identifies um, a communist as. They changed that parameter, but he is he operates on his own. Because one strong thing about Legion, I feel like in a robot fight, and not to speak over any, but he can probably hack most of the enemy robots. He can. He does. I that. would That's accept he that, does. except for the fact that in this universe, they never used transistors. Everything is based off of tube technology, ah. so it's so old that I doubt he would have any idea how to interact with it. Oh man! So you're going you're going with the Battlestar Galactic. I am theory. exactly. All right. Exactly. Okay. He is such a hunk of shit. Compared to what he is, <laughs> but he's enormous. <laughs> so and you're ready, you're on, on brute force alone, you're saying Liberty dude, Prime's got it. I, if you actually, why is that draw so appropriate for his Fallout character? <laughs> <laughs> dude, if um, 
if somebody if, if your character Where's manages to piss version? off Liberty Prime, Liberty Prime will kill your character in one second. Oh yeah. You cannot survive a barrage from Liberty Prime. Oh so my goodness. So your character, even in full battle armor, in full power armor, just can't. St so I'm I'm gonna bet that he would blow the shit out of Legion using Tesla cannons, all sorts of shit. I'm sorry. He's Mike, just, Mike, you're, 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 you're Legion is actually also question. extremely fast, so he would likely uh, dodge your freedom. Dodge freedom. Dodge <laughs> freedom. Doesn't yes. doesn't dodge like Liberty Prime like break Lord. down at some point? Liberty Prime gets blown up by an intercontinental ballistic missile. That's what it takes to stop that man. You can't I kill mean, Legion. Okay, so it takes one of those to stop it, but let's face it, it's in the post apocalypse. There's not a whole lot of ordinance to go exactly. around. Exactly. Exactly. He's he's So so basically it's maybe the if there was a apocalypse on Earth. So if we're in another universe where maybe there's other things to throw at it, maybe Liberty Prime wouldn't be so hot. Look, look, also Facts. we're dealing with Liberty Prime two hundred years after he was built and activated way late. This is not how he was this is not his Liberty Prime's not his prime, guys. <laughs> This is him. He's like he's like Rocky, you know, coming back. See, Liberty, Legion Liberty is Prime in couldn't his be prime. activated in his prime. Right, it was a fl initially a flawed design right, that as, had to be iterated upon for two hundred goddamn years prime. before it would work. All right, we gotta knock one of these Legion, guys out. Legion versus Lord and Freedom. only those five get to vote. So, oh. yeah, you, you you get to you get to. Well, then Huey can't vote either. Uh, I can't vote. All right, so you, well, well, you're we obviously four, voting. That doesn't for work. Prime. Unless you guys all think it's. I mean, all are right. You know, I mean, it's just. Oh yeah, that does leave us with four. We need, we need a not. A Where's Mer uh, with Steph? No, oh, wait, we, she's we a voter. We should, um, we should just yeah. all five vote, and then there's a partial vote. Whatever. All right. Yeah. Okay. Five. All right. So, so uh, everyone voting for Liberty Prime. Yeah, definitely. Uh oh. Without a doubt. That's three for Liberty Prime. That means two. You think uh -oh. Legion could and be Liberty, Liberty Prime? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I think uh, I think precision and planning will easily beat Liberty Prime. Yeah, yeah you and I think out of your mind. Le Le Legion yeah, can definitely no, kill people because he'll talk them to fucking death. He doesn't that's talk that's that only, much. That's the only thing you know also, about Mass Effect. Okay, that's oh, I played it. You're I right. I played it for an okay, hour also, and a half. The first quick, one, and that was How it. is Liberty Prime controlled? He's not controlled. They, well, actually, they change his parameter on what he views a communist as, and then he attacks the... Uh, All, okay, li so Liberty Prime has to have some sort of access point where his programming can be changed. Yes. No, that's, that's, that was my argument. With but he Legion, has to be ducked. He could, he could be... And See, my, my Le argument was... Legion that is... Le I'm, I'm certain Liber Legion is actually pretty uh, protected so against cyber attacks. He has attacks. to be. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, he, but what I'm saying his, is... His security is a hive mind. Like, you yeah. can't That's hack true. that. I'm I mean, not saying anybody would hack so it, So is Ultron. I would, I would argue that <laughs> once... Le so you're saying, Jarvis you're saying took him Legion out. got to Liberty Prime before he was sort activated, <laughs> he could do something? I think all Legion would have to <laughs> yeah. do is basically sneak up on Liberty Prime because you can sneak up on Liberty Prime yeah, and, then and hack the shit out of him. Because how easy is it to hack things in the Fallout universe, man? My argument was just go, that Liberty Prime is too on the back of Liberty Prime. You just go. You can talk uh, over me, but I'm right. <laughs> Liberty Prime <laughs> is is far too ancient of technology. He uses tubes and wires. It's all ancient technology in the exactly. Fallout That's universe. That's what I'm saying. He can't, dude. All right. Well, Mike is, is unfortunate. All you have to do to be able to. Dude, I'm using the battle. Hold on, hold on, guys, gotta, guys, guys, guys. On. We've already voted. Mike's wrong. As so what does it matter? No, Mike and I got out. Legion had four votes over here. All right. So go ahead and delete Legion. You don't. Count. You're an impartial. You're. you're no, no, already, we already just agreed. Yeah. Other, a yeah. Sorry, homeboy. That's a conflict. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, it's two okay, versus. Okay. So six. the next one. Oh, it's me versus Mike. How fucking fitting is that? All right. What All right. Do you, wh who is who is your robot? Go right? ahead, Mike. No, I'm gonna let Mike go. All right. All right. Um, my robot is uh, I guess from Persona Three and uh, Persona. Oh wow. That's I think she's in Persona Four as well. Uh, I guess is a. Um, that's a bit obscure. I think it is a bit obscure. Uh, I I love my JRPGs. Uh, I was actually gonna go with Robo first, but. Since Chrono Cross just totally fucked up the entire universe of Chrono Trigger, like oh Robo God. has that stain oh on his God. history. Someone's butt hurt. Uh, so, I guess stain is stain uh, on history. Yes, <laughs> I guess is an artificial <laughs> uh, life form fuck. that can actually tap into uh, sort of um, th this world of that exists beyond uh, ours with like demons and what they call personas. Right, right, right. That you can. Manifest in order to do battle with extra worldly entities. Okay. Uh, and so you get, I guess, halfway through the game, she's just supposed to be basically a robot. But actually, through the course of the game, uh, it's you have the classic sort of uh, uh, non-human struggling to be human arc, where you know she starts to develop emotions, starts to develop her own. Personality. Is she an actual robot, or is she just she's a an robot? Interface? She's a robot. Okay. Um, she's also got like 
gun arms and stuff like that. So oh, that's man. pretty cool. I mean, it can um, kill demons, I guess. So that's pretty. Yeah, cool. and they actually, um, in one of the spinoffs of Persona Three, they actually she becomes the main character, and so you actually see her making choices, uh, moral choices about what to do uh, over the course of the story. And it's you know it's a really good arc that they give her. Um, ends up coming, uh, ends up becoming like a really good story. Really lot of growth potential there too and as much as i love robo for having the same thing it's just the inexplainable stuff they had him do and fucking chrono cross killed it for me so it's just <laughs> so um you know i know i guess probably isn't gonna win on this but i actually really enjoyed uh her arc throughout the persona series so all right well adam what do you got who's well, your robot I, of choice i went with your good old buddy, your friend, your companion, your little square on a single wheel, Mr. Claptrap. Oh, man. Good good pull. Claptrap is your buddy. He's your friend. He's a playable character now. He is. With he is. an awesome super. <laughs> and all he wants to do is have an awesome super, tell you great anecdotes, <laughs> and keep you company while you're going through the trials and tribulations of the Borderland I universe. Love, I love Claptrap. Claptrap is, uh, is a friend to all. <laughs> all right. So he just it? wants to dance. He just <laughs> wants to dance. That's right. But I will. I would like to call it. He, his weakness is stairs. Yeah. Stairs. <laughs> yeah, but he's like a foot is and a half Mike, tall, Mike and he probably weighs eight pedal? pounds. Yes, it is. So it, Mike She's robot can handle, could handle stairs. Can handle elevation. But look, I'm not. Easy. I'm not. That's just a fact about your character. We're gonna go on from that. That's true. All right. All right. Okay. So do we? Do we have any? Is anyone pulling any sides at this point? So. You know, on the popularity so contest, it's looking strongly in favor of Claptrap. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm sure it is. So, but your as character kills like demons. Like, is is there some sort of like celestial power that this robot has, or something, or is it just, just, you know, shooting uh, demons? I mean, I can show you her persona, violence uh, bot. Well, we're, we're That's what it is. Robot, See, what is her stance on high fives too? Uh, oh. she's. You can teach her how to give high fives, I believe. I believe Claptrap comes pre-programmed with high fives. See, <laughs> he, also, he also makes sweet, uh, sweet dubstep songs. Yes, yes, he does. He got he's got the wubs, bro. Does I your character he have does. Uh, I don't think she does. I mean, you could give her those, but I will argue that uh, Claptrap is a mascot. I guess is an actual character with an actual with actual character development and an arc. All right. Well, I think we got to put it to the vote now, or this is going to take forever to get through all these robots. So what was I'm sorry I don't even remember the name of your robot Aegis I guess I guess <laughs> whatever that's so Thanks telling. guys That's so telling Thanks uh, No right. I, li I, li I like I appreciate it I like I like sh I, I've never played the Persona games but I've played most of the other Shin Megami games So, so out I've, of the five of us a, I'm always a fan of the demon splicers hunters and destroyer out of the five AIs of us. that you get All voting that's, for I guess That's her Persona Athena All right mm. I'll go I guess all right, I guess. I mean, I guess up. I'll vote for my own thing. So. And then, <laughs> me and okay. Mike have the same taste. In All in favor of Claptrap, I believe that's, that's three, three for Claptrap. So. Oh, I was right. going to vote against you, better what you picked. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know. he's talking to Mike. He was going to vote against Mike. That's right, fine. So, I guess is deleted. You're bitter because Next you're wrong. Up, I understand. I am 100 percent right. <laughs> you better defend yourself. Oh, Versus who? Dark Versus. Oh, Ryan, and uh -oh. I like Ryan's Ooh. choice too. All right. Go ahead and grab the, grab the neutral mic over here. <laughs> neutral mic. I love it. It's great. All right. So we're going to start with Steph. Could, all right. Steph, why don't you tell us oh. who the robot is that you picked and why you picked him? I picked Robo from Chrono Trigger, and he's awesome. That's a good one. His name is Robo. <laughs> <laughs> and he is from but Chrono Trigger. Hold on. She's pulling up Wikipedia right now. So he can talk he's, about got he's got a stendy punchy arm. You told me to arm. do that. <laughs> so, I did. So there. Uh, his real name was Prometheus, but, you know, whatever. Oh or, no, uh, Prometheus. yeah. That's his. Thank you. <laughs> Nick actually just called out his model number. It is. It is his model number. It is, yeah, R66Y. All right. So. What's, uh, cool, what's cool about Robo? Come on. Give us something. He's got this awesome robotic arm that goes... <laughs> So he's got punchy arms. Punchy mm -hmm. arms. And uh, good old robo punchy arms. He does he has lasers. He's got some lasers. He some lasers and he's like super techy with the other guys. Like you can do things because Luca fixes them every once in a while and just makes them more powerful. Cool. And he's yeah, uh, upgradable. Because, because he's uh, got an easy upgrade OS. Because yeah. he's because Definitely he's a not robot, an Apple he product. doesn't understand human <laughs> emotions, but he's totally empathizing and oh yeah. totally not want to hurt people. He would rather help them. 
and, and, and be oh nice man. to them and get along with them and be friends with humans. Well, that's the exact <laughs> opposite of Ryan's choice. Ryan, who do you got? <laughs> Oh, I have goes going with uh, m- one of my favorite robots. Uh, he goes by the name of Wheatley from the <laughs> Portal series. Uh, he's a very clever British robot. He'll fuck with your head. He's he's, oh, he's, this a, he's, is he's a bit of a bastard. <laughs> but, uh, so funny. Yeah. So. That means so you're pulling Wheatley. Yeah, Wheatley. He's a nice little round. Ro- he doesn't. He doesn't have a lot of powers built in. He. he yeah, I mean, he subverted Glados. That's got to be worth something, right? Yeah, but right? I mean, like, if if you walked up to him and tried to punch him in the face, I mean, you probably have to take it. He doesn't have like arms or things. But if he is anywhere near anything else, he will co-opt it to do his bidding and beat the shit but, like, out of you. Like the first half hour of the game, he was so cool, and then he turned into oh, such a prickhole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, he's he deceptive. Can, he can buddy up he to anybody, and an then asshole. and then he will only reveal his true nature when the moment. So do you, I mean, so do you to. think with with Robo being naive, do you think yeah, he'd be think, able to take think, advantage of Robo? Absolutely. Steph, how yes, do you feel Wheatley, about that? Wheatley would probably take advantage of Robo, but oh, Robo yeah? is he he understands friendship, and I think he'd fight him anyway. It'd be like, no, don't take over my head, no, get out of my head. Ah. But no, see, Wheatley would be like, hey, buddy, you know what? I, I dropped my wallet on the other side of this cliff. Could you just jump down there and get it for me? And then, boom, done. I End think I think he would understand that there's a cliff there, and he would find some other way to get it. I Does think Robo he would have like jetpacks? But real friends will get other people's he wallets from the bottom may of the canyons. So may I? I may I? Uh, really yeah, well. I don't really think quick. he has jetpacks. So, are we talking like Robo after the end of Chrono Trigger? Oh, God. oh Jesus <laughs> yeah, Christ! Yeah, he's, he's got to be like super powered Robo. He gets it because Robo after the end of Chrono Trigger. We're has not going on. We're not going on perceived canon. Oh, we're not going on perceived canon. I'm gonna talk over Mike Good TV because I'm big Adam and I'm big. <laughs> I'm big. So, <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of Chrono Trigger, Robo has already been betrayed once. So he was betrayed by uh, Atropos and yeah. Mother Brain. Sure. So that might make him a little less naive when it comes to dealing with Wheatley. Mm-hmm. Well, at the end of the fall, uh, Borderlands 2, Claptrap went out and saved a dozen unicorns from uh, the, the, the <laughs> angel of death himself and built <laughs> rainbow bridges across the millennium for all eternity for everyone ever. Oh, my that, God. That didn't happen at he the end just, of Borderlands 2. He, I played he pisses the game. sprinkles and shits rainbows. I don't remember that part. Really? No, it's because it's perceived canon after the fucking game ends. <laughs> That's what I think happened. This is during the game. Any further rebuttal for for Robo there or Wheatley? I'm I'm good. You're, you're, <laughs> you're standing you're standing by what's been said. After the end of Portal Two, Steph, Wheatley built a golf words? course on the moon. I think Robo is awesome. And opened it up for tourism. And he's full of Space friendship golf. and love. Friendship and love. And not stupid. He is Ooh. Robo. How's he feel about space? <laughs> <laughs> Wheatley would probably blow himself up before he had a chance I mean, to actually. Uh, All right, let's put this to vote. All right, put it yeah. in the vote. All five of us, what we got? All right. Voting for, Voting for Wheatley. Wheatley. Hold your hand up. I'm, I'm going Wheatley on this one. Ooh. Oh. It looks like. I All right. Lost, I lost right. And, uh, and voting for Robo. Ah, uh, Robo wins. All right, Robo <laughs> wins both the popular vote and the podcast vote, so Wheatley is gone. Although Wheatley was pretty cool. True. Who do we got? Who do we got next, Adam? The last Great. two, we need uh, Pelequin and Nick. Did I get skipped? Huh? Did I get skipped? Oh wait, you we were at the very top we just of the arbitrarily list. Arbitrarily gave Pelequin one, so we could all pretend we're Pelequin. <laughs> that is true because he was like, "You're putting me on the spot." And well, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll go against Nick some. Since oh I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Let's there. do that. Okay, so uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let me just move this. That's all. Go ahead, you guys go. Uh, All right, so I don't, I don't even know what yours is. Tell me, tell me what I'm up against here, Nick. <laughs> so I don't know how familiar you, you are with with the world of uh, of video games licensed for movies. Uh, sometimes the de- the deal goes goes sour. All right, mid mid development, like Journey to Silius was, was originally okay. uh, was originally licensed to Terminator game. Really, before, I didn't know that. Uh, that fell through, and they just uh, gave it its own universe. Uh, likewise, they were working on the uh, Sega Dreamcast port of Django Unchained. Uh, what? They, they couldn't quite get the, uh, Tarantino to sign up for it. So they, uh, they just they scrapped all, all the artwork and assets they had, uh, kept the engine uh, and uh, all the core mechanics, though, and renamed it Sonic Adventure. So... <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> That alone. Chris, Christoph Waltz's uh, character wa- was changed to Sonic, who then <laughs> partners up with the, with the Jamie Foxx Django, uh, which in Sonic Adventure oh was E-102 Gamma, 
whose sole purpose is to just murder the shit out of all the robotic slave masters to free his fucking brother. Well, I think you so lost already. That was so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready to bring it to a vote. <laughs> wow, that sucks. Oh, yeah, Chandy can go now. We gotta, I'm, we gotta I'm get another out. person to make it even. Well, you actually have an opposing Sonic robot, so it works out. Who was your... There is no way in hell I can follow that. I only heard the tail end of it. I am screwed. Well, <laughs> let's, let's, let's hear what you've got. I got nothing. All I know is Metal Sonic is a thing, and I just showed up. I know you make a Sonic compelling is, point, madam. <laughs> but I don't know anything else that's going on. because. So basically what's here. happening is we're going through our favorite gaming robots, ah. and we're pitting them against each other. Okay, well, Metal Sonic's awesome, and in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, he definitely has a shield that makes him invulnerable. So, so she's uh, got you're, invulnerability. You're up invulnerability. We, we, we how how, how, how long Sonic does the shield or last? Or Sonic? Wait, what? Metal Sonic or Mecha Sonic? Metal yeah. Sonic. Mecha Sonic only happens in the comics, and that's Sonic when he's roboticized, versus Metal Sonic, who is the one that Robotnik built. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Well, that was pretty hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> I know my Sonic, yo. I thought Mecha Sonic was the one at the end of Sonic 2. No, that's Silver Sonic. Oh, he's Silver Sonic. Yeah. Okay. Sonic yeah, Lawyer. Damn. <laughs> Right. All right, so this is specifically this is this is specifically the incarnation that Robotnik built for Sonic Adventure 2. No, no, no. Sonic this Sonic is the CD. one that he built in Sonic CD. Oh, okay. Who kidnapped Amy Rose, and you could really play the whole game without ever seeing him because he's that much of a badass. You know. All right. He, he knows everything Sonic's gonna do, but but that's not gonna help him because Sonic knows everything he's gonna do. Wow! Did you just it? quote the Sonic OVA? Yeah. Because I need to kiss your face. I got that on DVD. Oh my god! Oh my shit! I love you. <laughs> So these two robots, I think, are going to, to spawn a, a robot child, I guess, is what it's sounding like yeah. here. I mean, I... All right, I well, you, you, two, you two both know Sonic, though, so who's going to... We can leave this up to you guys. Who would win this battle, Gamma or, or Metal Sonic? Oh, man, Metal Sonic's so hard. I mean, regular Sonic beat him, and Metal Sonic's clearly better. I, I don't think so. I think because Gamma's got nothing to lose. He, uh, <laughs> but he's also actually a bird. That's so when well, he was portrayed by Jamie Lee Fox in the movie. Jamie <laughs> Jamie Lee Fox. Jamie Lee Fox. <laughs> What's that guy's name? <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis Fox. I don't know. Is that when, when, when Django? I've never seen that, that movie. I don't know who people are. Yeah, that's right. That's like the, the movie star who does all the uh, like the action movies and the the, the Akiva commercials? commercials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. that's her. That, that's that is him. An her amalgamation of humanity that is now seared He actually just uses the yogurt to lubricate his joints. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. And it's so, <laughs> oh, no. so I'm hoping that there's like a this website a for joint. this, and on it you can do one of those those two people w merge That's together, cool like yeah. photoshops, and and <laughs> add and merge Jamie Lee Curtis and Jamie Fox oh together into some yeah. sort of hideous hybrid. Good. This is getting horribly off topic. Who I wins the fucking like robot fight? God damn. Metal Sonic Shaw. I don't know. Gamma why, yeah, what do, you, what do you have? It's like, so. well, why why does Metal Sonic beat Gamma? Because Gamma is actually just a bird in a robot suit, and oh, is Gamma he's a, piloted? He's a flicky. Mechs don't count. Well, <laughs> flickies are not very bright. <laughs> are, Mechs like, don't did, count. Did you count roboticized animals as robots? That's a tough. T all right, I don't I'm think they do. Disqualified on that technicality. I've I've, <laughs> I, I don't they, think they I've count. always been curious. Does so They're does the battery? Does the yeah? Does the, does the animal just just like uh, is are the robots using it as like a chart as like its life force to power the robot? Or is it just yeah. a dick move to like lock okay. a bird in a robot? <laughs> Both. <laughs> I mean, Eggman is a clear. bird has no fucking clue where the release is. Right. Flapping ass birds all over the flapping ass birds all over the inside of that fucking robot. No disqualification. That's fine. We're saying all right. Yeah. A bird cannot beat a. A, a hedgehog made of invisibility. You know, E one hundred two gamma has an advanced modular design that allows for various <laughs> upgrade systems to be uh, added, added to it. I mean, upgrade what, what, in what that kind it makes of, a thing of float defenses does this gamma have? <laughs> It's got rocket boots. It's got a jet booster. It's the got a rapid fire. It can lock boots. onto it's eight like targets at once. Thing. Metal Sonic can lock onto all the targets at once. All of them. Literally, I haven't seen that target. in practice. It yeah. is very fast. It's I because it's being thrown around Dash here. Ford. He's so fast. So, let, let me just clarify. Is this this is the unchained gamma, right? <laughs> this is, this gamma, is not the chained gamma. Stand for <laughs> you He's been unchained in this battle, right? Okay. You, you, you cannot that defeat That is definitely a Mega Man reference. Gamma by just turning gamma around Gamma got power tonight. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you had my curiosity. All right, this, that, this, this is obviously now, reached right, we're gonna have to we gotta it put it to vote. To, where's Mike? Where did Mike go? God, well, Mike's just so just easily Star distracted. Wars. What did he show us? All right, so we're Star gonna Star Wars is gonna stand in. We're for gonna Mike. take a vote. Who who is going for Metal Sonic? Clearly, everyone. I like, I like Metal Sonic. Uh, I like Metal Sonic. 
Metal Sonic's better. Two, five. Okay. Who's going for uh, as far you want as to podcast two? vote? I think it's three to two. Yeah. Although you yeah. know, for your argument, oh. it was yeah. incredible. I was like, Metal the Sonic argument wins. I've ever heard in my oh. life. No, that oh, was okay. that, that. That's I, I'm. I feel bad, Nick, but I just as far as the direct robots go, I'm more a fan of Metal I, Sonic. I, I will you say feel though, bad, Nick. I, uh, I get it. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I I, I did cry when the 102 gamma died at the end of it's it's that was pretty it's a powerful technically die he birded he 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 was he (laughs) He 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 relinquished his uh roboticized form uh to usher in a new era of clicky freedom little do you know (laughs) little do you know he kept it we need to have nick on the show whenever we talk about sonic and later there's going to be a gamma unchained video game in which he comes back for vengeance oh my gosh all right, well, that's uh, we, we've, oh wait, out, oh wait, we've, no, we've got a special hey, guest. Oh, there's we should, a baby here we should now. clarify this vote. Gamma or Metal Sonic? Me- Gamma or Metal Sonic? <laughs> Mike. E-102 <laughs> oh. e- Gamma versus Metal Sonic. Who wins? E-102 uh, Gamma has a gun. I think, like, Metal Sonic has some stupid, like, supersonic equivalent power that makes him ridiculously OP. So... Probably Metal Sonic. You can give anybody uh, okay. a Sonic power. You can throw anything you just on get the gem. Chaos Emeralds, yeah. You can yeah. throw my dick on that gem. It'll be more <laughs> <laughs> My child is right here, Nick. God. That child's hung more than I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you oh. made him cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That kid is so upset that he has a huge dick. It's so All right, <laughs> we got we got we got to finish this robot battle. Okay, what do we got next? I've got Adam. you by yourself. You're the fifth candidate. I get the, I get the buy. Wait, who am I against then? Nobody. We need to. There's five. Well, there's now, five now start remaining. Eliminating them. Yeah. Right, I did. This is the five that remain. So we yeah. Need so start right, so the we start with the orbit. Orbit. Okay, so yeah. it's me versus Huey. It's Liberty Prime versus Claptrap. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh, this is no. like the one and two seeds. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, all right. Well, well, we already know who the robots are. So make your. How's Claptrap going to beat Liberty Prime? Yeah, All we have to do is, with Claptrap, run away fast enough until the ICBM hits. You, <laughs> uh, you have to activate an ICBM, sir, and, you know, yeah, ideally... I think Claptrap's more than capable of handling that. Oh, I mean, I, but dude, you'd be annihilated in seconds. We would get I'd away faster... Identify you as a communist, you're your toast. Giant you retard toast. robots like, oh, huge communism so, so, fight. Uh, to be fair, I don't, I don't think that Claptrap comes off as a communist, so I don't think Liberty Prime would try to kill him. There's also that. I think I've seen that. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm going to give you that one. Liberty like, Prime, we can't hear you unless you're on the microphone. Liberty Prime was not programmed to attack Claptrap. He was programmed to attack communism. You're right. You're right. I'm is Claptrap a communist? He's no. not. Claptrap is not a communist. See, you guys, see, I would do, say, I would do you guys often share I loot? I wouldn't I would say argue. that he's a hyper patriot like I, Liberty Prime. I would argue that, that Legion could be viewed as a communist because it's all one collective. But... <laughs> But hold on, hold on. Legion, so Legion was you. hey. You can't win that argument now. It's over. I'm, Legion I'm was won. killed. I don't need to win. Many moons so, ago. You no, know, I'm just saying. So I would have viewed that character as, and then they would have fought. But you are not a communist, so I don't think Liberty Prime. He would, would try fight to you. give Liberty Prime a high five. Yeah, and I think but Liberty like, Prime I, would just knowing be like, Claptrap, he would be like, and that high five would destroy Claptrap. Yeah, that's that's also. Fair. <laughs> oh, that's totally true. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> Bam! Just dead. Then he wouldn't. Liberty he would. Prime's too dumb. No, he would. Claptrap would befriend Liberty Prime for sure. I, c- I could get behind that. I, I, but then we would just ship again. But we would just run ends. away until that's ICBM. Not ends. That's not how this yeah, ends. ICBM. So yeah. then, you so could y- knock both of them out this round because we just go gay with each other. It's not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> Can robots be gay? Does Liberty Prime have a gender? These are the questions I want to know. Does he? Does, yeah, does, which one does has Liberty the input plug? Need a gender? <laughs> Excellent. Huh? We've all learned something today. I, <laughs> I think the game's over. We've advanced. <laughs> <people>. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so mad because he has such a big flaw. <laughs> <laughs> got it from Daddy. He's yeah. gonna find this. He's actually got a twosie, not a onesie. Life. It's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> if Mike's got a paintbrush, oh he's God. got a watercolor kit. He's he's <laughs> <laughs> in development. Wow. Wait, <laughs> anyway. So anyway, All right, so you know, <laughs> we're gonna have to put this one to vote. We're put it to vote. All right. You know. Uh, All right. All those in favor of Liberty Prime. Yep, that, that definitely that won me over. Liberty Prime. Claptrap? Oh, no, it's, it's not looking good. Nope. Mike, Liberty Prime or Claptrap? Claptrap. Thank yep, you. Oh. There's the winning vote. I, I, don't, I, don't, I think I've only won one of my I have votes. to be honest. I do love Liberty Prime as a choice. That was a good one. All right, Adam, super, I saw that list, and there's five things on it. Make sure Orvi doesn't get another buy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Orvi versus uh, Steph. All right. Well, oh, man, I didn't even get to talk about my robot at all. I went super simple. 
I'm going Dog from Half Life Two, because okay. he's one of my favorite robots. That's a good he's one. cool. He's weird, and he's super helpful. He doesn't really he doesn't really have any kind of super super powers or anything. He's just really big, fast, and strong. Okay. All yeah. I remember is when I'm about to die in Half Life Two, and he jumps out of a fucking building and tears apart a Strider with his fucking Robo yeah. claws. <laughs> it's pretty badass. And if you've if you've ever played through Half Life Two, or and in the episodes later on when he comes up during like the last fight in Episode Two, oh yeah, yeah. oh my God, he's insane. It's and you. It, ver- I, it's you versus Orvi. I picked Dog from Half Life Two, Steph. <laughs> I don't know the dog from Half Life Two. It's not. Well, a he's dog. not a dog. He's, he's a, a robot. Dog. He's a robot. This is a, a robot, robot battle. He is dog. Do you remember the game you played like 15 minutes ago? We're still playing that game. It's the robot battle. <laughs> well, I got it. I got it. I was looking. Well, actually, it was 14.15 minutes ago. It's, <laughs> Jamie Lee. And if you're going to pull friendship Curtis, and happiness and values name, Fox, of humanity, yeah. <laughs> there's no one that, that is more man's best friend than Dog. D-O-G. All That's right. him. I really would have liked to have seen Dog fight Liberty Prime. Now that I think about it. <laughs> so that might you, happen. <laughs> it could happen. So, oh, no. So you really, you really think that Robo and Dog would fight? You think they wouldn't just become friends? See, we, we, we've, we've just are, gone down this. Done this. this path is Dog versus I'm Liberty so Prime. Tie I'm option. Over there Sorry, we're over here playing real games that matter in life. Yeah, this is very important to us. Chinese food versus video game we're robots. We're in the yeah, robotics wins? center of Baltimore. This is all about robots. Yeah. Robots. <laughs> robots. So, uh, so we're Steven supposed Spiderman. to fight? <laughs> so the robo and, and dog are going to actually fight? They're not going to come to each other and go? No, they're going to fight to the death. Really? Yes, there's no friends. Everyone dies. Actually, it made sense for my character in Claptrap 3 Fans. It but did. aside from that... Yeah. It did. It yeah, I don't know. Honestly, it did. <laughs> I mean, dog. What does dog, dog have? I mean, I've got some robotic arms and some fucking lasers, man. <laughs> what do you got? She's really leaning hard on the yeah, robotic arms and yeah. lasers. I mean, I, most robots When's do in fact have Robo, robotic arms. When's the last time Robo <laughs> shredded things to help his friends? What? He from totally limb to does. limb. He, and he, and they, they does he do, use his robot arms and his do, lasers? They do triple tacks and stuff. Triple I mean, striders. Striders have, together. Huge have that big robot futuristic with the auto cannons, and they're like 50, 60 feet tall and, and heavily <laughs> armored and from another parallel right. dimension. Right. How, so how I'm pretty sure he can DOG? handle robot. How big is this dog? Guy? Dog is probably about 12 feet tall. Yeah. Yeah. Eight. 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 Yeah, I guess when he's like hunched, like he doesn't often stand tall. So yeah, like so he doesn't okay. actually. So he looks like a dog most of the time. No, he's he's well, he's got like looks four like a gorilla. Legs. Yeah, he's kind of gorilla-ish. Yeah. But he's, but he's happy. He's totally happy, but he's going to defend anyone that messes with his people. Yeah, he's super loyal. He plays fetch. He does play fetch. Anything you toss at that gravity Robo's gun. Robo's pretty smart. He might try to play fetch with your dog. Mm. Why are you trying to end this in friendship instead of Man. blood sh- or oil shred? <laughs> well, well, we can go back to, to Wheatley's as- assessment to say, oh, here, here's this. Go, go get the stick, boy. It's over the cliff. Go get it. Go get it. Right, go dog run and get it. Is dog, I was going to say. Can he fly? Is Can he fly? Dog would defend any of his friends vehemently, and Wheatley and Dog are kind of from the same general universe. So That's true. Robo really? already killed pretty much his best friend. Yeah. He's going to come back with him. The sp- and dog. probably the smarter of the two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hmm. So he's just going to go Stand melee dog. on my Robo. Yeah. Stick throw. Well, Robo would, would take his sweet time and just let him run around a lot and wear himself out. Maybe. Do you robots think, wear do you think that robot robots work. fall succumb to lactic acid? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think that's the case. I think I think it's lack of oil or something, and they 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 run out of yeah. See, but they don't. Hydraulic fluid isn't used. It's not like something. It's not like gasoline. It's not well, how so maybe they do. run on gasoline. <laughs> All right. Dog yeah, is it's a, it's, it's a tough right. choice. I think Robo could outsmart Dog, but I think if Dog had a reason to attack Robo, yeah, dog would, they dog would, would need a dog serious would reason, apart. like Robo's taking out Wheatley, I guess. But yeah, I mean, Robo's not that. Zach's calling the Robo's not that smart, smart either. Enough. He's smart enough. I mean, he work. He, he you think they're kind of on the, the right same people to I be mean, friends yeah, with? He's from. He's sure. from the future. <laughs> But Dog doesn't trust anything from parallel dimensions. He hates time Ooh, travel and that's true. Stuff. That's true. Oh, hmm. That could send him into a spiral, spiral of rage for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Robo well, that's, that's perfect because Robo, Robo would be smart Robo. enough to take, take advantage of his emotions. Look, I don't care how smart you are. If you have a giant gorilla monster coming at you who hates things from parallel or future universes, and he just goes like Hulk smash on this tiny say, little robot if fuck, we, If we go Loki done. versus Hulk here... 
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> puny god. <laughs> Might even look like you have something to say well, on dog versus robo. You know, we're, we're talking about dog size and all this, and in Chrono Trigger, Robo routinely faces off against monsters many, many times his size. I mean, you know, uh, the Tyranno Lair, the, uh, the big... The but Tyranno he also Lair. normally has a team with him. Well, he has a team with him, but, you know, if you go on New Game Plus, you can tank those things solo. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally right, on so point. Right. So I think, it, out I New think Game it's time Robo. to put this to a vote. All those in favor of Robo. Okay. Got three for three. Robo. All those in favor of dog. Crushing victory. Oh, my goodness. Uh, wow. wow. I didn't think right. I'd, I thought right. I was, was doomed going we against We have three left, trigger. right? That's horseshit. We have three left. I think this has got to be a free-for-all battle royale. Yep, definitely. So All right, who do we got left? Metal Sonic, dog, and Claptrap. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Danny. Oh, gosh. In, in this fight, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking... Immediately, I'm gonna go with Metal Sonic. No, that's I I I want I want to argue for Dog, but Metal Sonic's so powerful. And I mean, and fast, dude. Metal Sonic go upstairs. Still Metal invincible. Sonic's way faster than Dog, and he's metal. And still invincible. Yeah, like so that. is all three is of them. Invincibility for how long? He's as long not as just like I'm bugging as long, as, as long as you have rings, yeah. Like not if, even, if even you even run out of rings, you're out of. Well, they wear his rings power. out of them then. If, the, if yeah. you're talking about Sonic Adventure Two Battle, he has an invincibility button. <laughs> He flies and he invincibles. Like, so uh, see, here's my thing: if he's invincible, and he can run at like mock, how fast all can of them. Mock okay, all of them. mock all of them? <laughs> he needs to turn invincible and just oh, your, your, your metal this. shavings. He's running right through you. Yes, that's you're, exactly you're how you. Huey always you sides on the side of it's super speed. speed. Speed is really hard to beat, guys. I did that's have an interesting conversation. Right, what kind of, what kind of <laughs> <laughs> what kind of armament does does Cla- Claptrap have? Any kind of guns that he that has a with near this? unending army of adventurers, right, at his disposal. They are pretty badass. I oh yeah, them that. and they've but taken out things that make Metal Sonic look like an asshole. Yeah, but solo. I, I, are we talking? About, yeah, we, we've we've we been not including Claptrap's teams. Dudes? Okay, or are we talking about just Claptrap? But you can play but as Claptrap, no, 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 right? So he can use he can use any of the any, yeah weapon. you can. You can use any of his any of the weapons. Wait, you have Orby, Orby, you I mean, play Borderlands, right? Is being yeah. annoying. So yeah, Claptrap <laughs> has you at his disposal. Are you saying that Metal Sonic could take you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he could. You're right. All right, <laughs> there you have it, folks. Metal Sonic. I, I don't know. I guess Metal Orby. Sonic That's is uh, like in, uh, with that argument. Metal Sonic just wins. There's no vote. It's true. Uh, like as soon as Metal Sonic was put on the iPad, that's just a wrap. <laughs> Metal Sonic just wins. With with, with that with that. Like, oh, he could go really fast and be invincible, and then he just runs through you and you're gone now. Yeah, like, I mean, okay. I mean, that's so, so is he a playable character he in is whatever a playable game? Character. So there's no way he's invincible all the time and just runs. Like, yeah, I, I, I've, I've, I've made games. Buttons. I know how this works. That right. was stupid. Yeah. Yes. There, there's he, no he's, he's invincible little, all the time. He's a little bit hacked. No, you have to hold the he's invincibility a, He's button. extreme this would, this god would, this tier. Would, this would definitely have to be a Claptrap and Dog versus Metal Sonic, though, I think, because as, 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 as cool as they are. But I, I think you have to... I think if wait, you got Claptrap so, so to get with Dog and steer Dog, because Claptrap's got the brains. Sure. Dog's got the brute. So, so you said and Claptrap also and has access to all the Borderman's weaponry. Right all of the Borderman's weaponry. Wait, hang on. What, what I heard is that to be invincible, Metal Sonic needs to hold down the invincibility button. Correct. Right. I'm pretty sure Claptrap would find that controller and break the shit out of the but, invincibility button. But I button. just heard oh, that is Dog a good point. getting with Claptrap, so there's some Rule 34 shit going on Wait, right is, now. is Metal Sonic and, able and to do absolutely anything while the invincibility button's held? Can you do anything? He can't jump, but he can still run really fast. I mean, jet uh, really fast. He can't really jump anywhere. But in that scenario, is he able to run fast enough to go Metal through Sonic something? Yes. No, that's, that <laughs> is an, that's an extreme no. god-tier character. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that Claptrap has Metal Sonic's controller in his back pocket. He sees Metal Sonic invincible and run at him. He turn, he breaks the invincibility button. His invincibility wears off, and he's going so no, fast. No, what am I yeah, even? Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Claptrap clap would absolutely <laughs> be able to hack into Metal Sonic. Right, There's no two ways about Metal it. Metal Sonic's going like Mach 80 billion, but, and but then Claptrap clap disables his invincibility, so Metal Sonic just disintegrates under the weight. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's just, just have, like, like Flash Gordon and runs himself into oblivion. Flash exactly. Gordon. Flash fucking <laughs> the the <laughs> Flash. <laughs> I don't know things. <laughs> Jamie no, Lee, are very different. Foxes. He did do that. Now Flash. I'm just, now I'm yeah, just Jamie Lee Flash like actually. Jamie Lee Flash, Flash ran herself into oblivion while eating that. shit starting yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> good old. And well, that's, <laughs> that's how he get his speed, man. 
Oh my god! All right, we're gonna have to vote. The this flash, is going nowhere. The Flash fast. ran himself into. I unfortunately, oblivion. as much as he I love dog, I think I have to. Monitor. Yeah, so that's what, what Metal Sonic here. would do. After being like, look how fast I can run, but I'm invincible. He's made of like an adamantium. And then he'd be like, oh, I don't think that would happen, though. Well. Is he he's actually built, made of adamantium? Probably. Is that cannon? He's no. built to run. He's built for that speed. Like, that's his All design. I know is that a hedgehog's quills can break it after about eight-ish hits. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't think Claptrap can figure something out with the, all of the weapons in the Borderlands universe to act well, like a Sonic Well, he can quill? probably only carry a few on him at any one oh, time. Oh, just, yeah, just one or two. I mean, at the same time, though... He can I carry feel like, like 20. Are you kidding me? Bullet. Have you never played a Borderlands game? <laughs> Metal Sonic is definitely he can carry like 20 than weapons, at least. Sonic <laughs> yes. in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. So. If Sonic can outrun a bullet, then Metal, Metal Sonic, Sonic can, can double outrun, outrun like, a bullet. Yeah. All right. I, I gotta All right. Metal we got to put it to a vote. This is a three-way it's not, vote. It's not, it's not, All right. It's, it's legitimate. We're going to start with Metal Sonic. That's two, three, four, five. Okay. Dog. Uh, poor dog. dog is I'm dog. not even I'm voting for dog. dog. Claptrap? Two, three, three. I, Metal Sonic's invincible, so I guess that wins. Yeah. <laughs> so there I, it is. I mean, I would hate, I didn't want anybody to beat Liberty Prime, but I would no, vote Metal, for Metal Sonic, Sonic wins. over Liberty Prime. <laughs> He's just, it's, Metal it's, Sonic it's is almost, that's almost cheating, because that's apparently a complete god tier character. And you know what's Hacks. great? We picked that. <laughs> we were just like, oh, you Metal through. Sonic, deal with it. We picked that for Mike. Teliquin because he couldn't think of any robots from any video games. That's impressive. So I think, I think that's almost a disqualification. No, well, Mega Man's the whole universe was out. Uh, yeah. Because that's that's OP as hell. That's true. What, was it, what are they called? The the Reploids? Oh, the Reploids. <laughs> <laughs> that's Mike that's TV what Mike called TV them called them Reploids. Anyway, this has all gone downhill quickly. Yeah. I hate this I show. So, so ultimately, ultimately we ended on Metal Sonic. Not the most popular, but apparently the most powerful. Awesomeness. Yeah, the most OP character. Mike, apparently. sit down. They should put your... him in every fighting game ever because he cannot lose. Apparently, he's got invincibility buttons you can just hold down. It would have to be like a, like a Power Stone sort of fighting game, though. Because, I mean, in just like a, like a regular sit down tier, you have to thing. develop speed. Yeah, Mike, you're uh, talking over you a shoulder. Doing? We can't hear you. Well, this is your they, show too. Well, it, it, Metal uh, Metal Sonic is, you know, OP, How did, you, you, were, again, you weren't here Sonic for Sonic does beat him regularly. That's what so. I, I I don't know. I mean, you voted for him. What do you mean? Who you was don't your know? vote, Mike? No, I did, did I, I, I feel like Claptrap with those Metal options. Sonic yeah. or dog. Yeah. That Metal Sonic I mean, probably would I'd go won. for dog. I mean, okay. I would have. I, I, metal Sonic. I'm, I'm ashamed of us. <laughs> I'm ashamed yeah. that this tournament ruled out to Metal Sonic being the yeah. winner. I mean, I would. If, How if do you feel about this, this, this conclusion, dog. Nick? You think Dog could beat Metal you know, Sonic? I didn't I actually so. think I would. The character the members run it like Mach 12 person, <laughs> and go invincible. <laughs> <laughs> you think Dog, a regular <laughs> robot? I think. Wait. It's like saying Robbie the robot. I think beat. if you incorporate gravity gun powers from uh, from the Portal universe into Dog, because that's a thing that they have there, gravity gun beats everything. Does Dog have those? It was mounted on him initially, wasn't it? Yeah. He had he had a zero point whatever. Yeah. Yeah. If that was in the mix, that totally negates speed. Yeah. All right, let's just what go back happening? to the beginning oh my and God. start over. <laughs> everything is Liberty crap. Prime kicks the shit out of Legion. <laughs> <laughs> if, sure, we'll, we'll say right. he does. We're, we're, per, we're over time. an hour. We're going to call it. This Are has we? been Madcast live from the Robotics Center. It's been so noisy and crowded. It's There's actually it's people been ridiculous. here now. I know. Yeah. Well, at least like, like 12. There's a baby yeah. here. Baby. We started with zero people. Dog's the best. There's also cutting onions. It's pretty intense. Yeah. With the sharp, with one of the sharpest knives there are. Yeah. yeah. It actually cut through the cutting board if you guys go and watch that. <laughs> so if you learned how to make sushi while you were listening to this episode, send us an email at, at podcast at magfest.org. Yeah, it's been a thing since episode one. Thank you, because we Nick keep Marinelli. Saying Latest paid employee, everybody. Let's Woo! give a round of applause. <laughs> also director of PR. All right. Hey, Dom just raised the beer. We're going to... God, it's way too hot in here. End this so Dom, we can go somewhere. turn the air on. It's so fucking hot. Everybody. Adam, anyway, Adam, we're still on the air. We're on the air. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Thank you for Editing. listening. This is episode 25. Five and a half. And a half. Really? 25. <laughs> 25. Are we five away from a freaking ice cream cake? What's We're wrong with five this? Five away guy? from an ice cream oh cake. My anyway, God. I am big <laughs> it's Adam. It's going to be so big. Orvi here. Huey. I'm Ryan. And Mike TV. He's an idiot. Thanks I'm for a, listening. I'm a proud See Liberty Prime wins. Liberty Prime Robots. beats everybody. Better dead than red. Claptrap wins. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are those of the hosts, guests, and artists featured on the show. 
They are not necessarily the views or opinions of MAGFest itself. Any questions, comments, or complaints can be sent to podcast at magfest.org.